Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, yes, we are playing another game. And why I haven't been posting for two weeks is because I was at my cottage and then the next week I had to go to camp. But now I'm open until school starts in a week. But, yeah. Um, today we are playing Mountain Mount and Blade. I, I keep on playing Mountain Blade. I don't know why. Um, Mountain... Mount and Blade Warband. Um, uh, if you don't know what this is, it is a RPG sandbox open world. Um, uh, don't know. Fight. Ugh. Third person. No. But alright. So why don't we get right into the game and you'll see what it is from the Welcome Adventure to Mountain. Oh. Don't really want to read that. That's not a part of my bio. So I'm a male. You were born years. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was. Now, depending on which one I pick, how hard it will be, how hard, and how um, my skills will go. So we're gonna go for improved noble. Noble. Or not, I don't know. You came into the world a son of declare of Declan nobility, owning only the house in which they lived. However, despite your family's hardship, they afforded you a good education and trained you for childhood. For the, I don't know where that is. Of don't know where that is. And life, and life is cool. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as a part of a nobleman's court. Probably not. Um. Well, probably go for shop assistant because that will get me a bit more trade. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed I, to a wealthy merchant. Picked up the trade um, over years of working shops and driving caravan. You soon became a adept at the art of buying low, selling high, and and living the cust oh, and leaving the customer thinking they got a better deal. Then. As a young adult, life changed. You became a... You don't want to be quite smart, but we're also going to want to be good at engineering. I'll go university student. Oh, God. Um, thought the decision felt sudden to you. Somewhere along the way, you had become a man. And the whole world seemed to change around you. You find yourself as a student in the university of one of the great cities where you, where you uh, study technology, philosophy, and medical. Medical. But now, all your lessons were learned in the uh, lecture halls. You may, or, you may or may not have joined in with your fellows as they roamed the alleys in search of wine, women, and a good fight. However, you certainly were able to observe how a broken jaw is set, or how an angry townsman can be persuaded to set down his club and accept cash for the direction of it, for the, oh, accept cash, uh, for the description, description, ah, destruction of a shop. Soon everything changed, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision? Personal revenge, loss of a loved one, wanderlust, becoming, uh, being forced out of your home, or loss for money and power. I'm gonna go for loss from of money and power. All right. So because my dad's, because with my father's job, I get to carry around a banner right away. So what should we do? Oh, and after this series, I will probably do more mountain 
Blade Warband series, but with uh, total conversion mods, which it will change the entire game. So, hmm. Ugh, this is probably going to be the most boring episode because I have to start it off this way. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I'll go for that. Alright, no, just allow me to quit without saving. Alright, so... Charisma, we're going to put that up to 10. Intelligence, 10. We're going to need him to be quite strong. So, let's go Iron Flash. Just to give me a bit more... Um... Oh, trainer. Trainer is always an important thing because you'll train your guys every single day. Uh, tactics. That will let you do battle tactics. Uh, pathfinding. Yeah, we're going to need one and two in pathfinding. Uh, we already do have one in trade. And then we're going to get two in trade. So we'll probably do a bit of training, trading just to make money. But then... Um, Put a lot more into that. All right. What should be your name? Hmm. No idea if I spelled that right, but whatever. Batley. <laughs> supposed to say Batley. Okay, give me a second. Uh, actually, I won't do that. We'll do John. And that's Greg War. John Gregor, Greg War, uh, whatever. Uh, if you don't know that, I took that name from Star Wars. Just, yeah. Uh, there is a Star Wars mod. I will be doing a Star Wars Conquest. I will be doing a um, series on that, considering I just got it the other day and I haven't played it legit yet. I just messed around with the mods and gave myself a couple. 100,000 troops. Um, and starting in my own empire. Enough about that. Um, I do like that beard. Find a hairdo to go with it. Sure. Hey, actually, let's just randomize a bit. I want to make my own. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six different kingdoms, and I can start in either one. I'm going to start in one that I've never really went to, but I do know they've got good recruits. I'm going to go here. I don't bother doing that, sorry guys. But it starts off in a city ambushed by a bandit. Um, as you can see, my banner... My banner is... Oh, I also start off with a crossbow. A sword. This is not the entire game. There you go. And then a merchant will run up. There he is. But I start off with a sword, shield, and a crossbow. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at, at any rate. I'm not, sh I'm not sure what we can say. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other for the. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although, he heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Talk more inside. Out here, out here. We don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you into his house. Once inside, he stands at the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinces you to have, uh, convinces you have not con ah! convinced you have not been followed. Come near, uh, come near you to speak. I 
my banner looks so much better on the actual banner. Now, let me explain my... Okay, I don't really want to do this. This is the main mission, but I kind of want to get more in the sandbox. So I'm not going to do it. But yeah, so this is the map where I will be traveling to places. That's my banner. thought it looks pretty good. But I am... I cannot remember the name of this empire. But, so... I don't need to know that. I know how... So, I'm going to go to this village. Um, so... Ooh. Uh oh, those are deserters, they're extremely strong, especially in this kingdom. That's the, that's a bandit. No one here is willing to join me. Wow. All right. So I start off with $180, and I have a book of healing. So that's plus wound uh, treatment, one wound treatment when I, well, oh God. 24 gold. And then they won't follow me. Pretty sure there's a den right there. Because I got stuck here. I was at war with these guys and I got attacked by a bunch of scissors. Oh, whatever. Oh, I didn't even realize I had tracks. So, mm, 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 mm. These are looters. These are the very these are the weakest, but I only have one other person. Um, so it might not go over well. But let's see if we can do it. So here's the this is going to be the normal fighting. Let me just reload my crossbow. Yeah, this is the normal fighting. Let's go take a little bit of a slash with them. I've killed nine of these guys by horseback before. As long as I don't get stuck in a position like this, I should be fine. Thankfully, the only ranged weapon they have is rocks. Um, it's a little laggy and I don't know why. It normally runs perfectly smooth. Oh, that was close. Come on. Come on. I'm not the best with a ranged weapon, but I do know how to use it. I do have to slash different ways. Oh, he deflected that. Oh, oh, come on! Gotta hate these kinds of battles, they're so boring. And there goes another one dead. Really hope my guy's just knocked out so I can just treat him. I don't need to go find someone. So I don't need to go find someone new. If you're wondering why I'm being so quiet, it's because everyone else in the house is asleep. It's only like eight o'clock in the morning, I think. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna skip by the rest of this battle. Oh, I just killed someone with a horse charge. Cause it's gonna take a little while longer. All right. 
Ooh. All right, guys. Last guy. Just trying to flee. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, no. God, he got away. Uh, but I killed everyone else. So we only did take one wounded, thank god. They took seven killed, two wounded, one roaded. I do not have prisoner management, so I have no idea how to do that. It's much better than I have on right now. This does seven body armor. Twenty-one body armor, put that on. Three head armor meant as well. Twenty-four swing. Twenty-seven. Should be pretty quick. I like quicker than me. They've got twelve freaking guys. These are very hard to take. These bandits are very strong. I have nowhere near enough to, sh to attack let someone with five. Right. But there's another empire right there, another empire right now there. I'm going to want to go to the Nords because they have a s really strong troops they get from there. Oh! It's four leaders, might as well, right? I'm not afraid of you. I have two troops fit for battle. But didn't I just get two new people? Oh no, I only do have two troops. Because I have myself. Come on. Here we go. Oh, I hit him. Yeah, this horse is pretty bad. I'm just gonna dismount my horse. Hey, and the farmer survives. Our tribesman. And then we've got a skirmisher, and they upgrade straight away into cavalry, which cavalry is very good to have. Okay, might as well sell these, sell these, sell the old fashioned thing. Sell a large bag of stones, that's a great idea. Yeah, you're never gonna want to use large bag of stones. They're very useless. They do almost nothing. They, it's not like they like hurt them, knock them off their horse. Hmm. So let's go to the marketplace. Let's get a bit of trading going. I do like this sword better. My rusty sword. That'd be extremely painful to have a rusty sword and cut people with. 
I made quite a bit of money actually. So let's buy some bread. Alright, let's access local prices so I'll figure out if I can buy stuff here and unable to find any good ways to trade that would bring a profit. I've seriously this level three? No. The higher the level to trade the better Alright, let's go to a different kingdom, because this is the poorest kingdom. That's a bandit layer. That's not good to be around. Hmm. Five troops. God, this is going really slow in the beginning. You go to a kingdom that's not very spread out. It's a very small kingdom. They need uh, weak bandits. All right, we're gonna go to this kingdom. This kingdom's super spread out, but no, why not? Um. So. I just learned something new today. I was just watching a video and I found this out. If I go to controls, there's a view orders button. Metal and a quick save button. So we're just gonna do it like that. Anytime I scroll out, I will quick save. Which is good, because you're gonna, because I'm gonna need a lot of quick saves. Probably not the best place to put the button, because it's also the scroll up button. But at least it will make it so I won't forget, because I usually forget to do it. Need the quick save there. Mm. All right, so let's go to the marketplace. Access local prices. It's gonna take a while. And so if I buy wool here and sell it, it 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 can more. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I'll make thirty-seven dollars off of it. Okay. So let's just buy some wool. That's the only wool here. I should make thirty-seven dollars. It's really laggy, and I don't know why. Oh, oh! I gotta sell over there. The other kingdom, really? Or might be because I'm quick saving every time I try. Yeah, it's because I'm quick saving every try and time I scroll out. So maybe that wasn't the best. Yeah, that really. Uh, I cut the next shield. I'm just gonna set up the backspace. Done. Yes, my settings are set very low because this is a very bad computer for gaming. But. You know, whatever. Um, I think we're gonna go do this trade and then we'll end the video. We go much slower at night than we do at day. Right now I'm going really slow. Actually, I'm going quite fast. I have not played this, like, I have, this is native, the original version of the game. I have not played it in so long because I have so many mods. Yeah, but I'll probably do a top 5 mods video, or maybe top 10 mods video for this, for this game. I probably will, actually I will. 
I do it today and post it next day. But whatever. I, um, because I've really got back into this game. It's a really fun game to get into it. Um, but yeah. Oh god, I've never seen that banner before, and it's amazing, and it looks amazing. Let's go to the marketplace, go to goods, and I should make a profit off of that. So let's access the local goods, see what I can make money off of here. Buying wool cloth and selling it to hammer would profit in 20 dinners. Okay. It's really expensive with wool cloth. Once I can raid villages, I won't need to worry about money. Because I'll be able to make lots of money off that, like thousands of dollars. Because it just gives me a bunch of really expensive goods. Wait, where am I going? My men would like to have a word with you about your purse and your belongings. Sorry, that's what it just said. Uh, I know you guys can't hear it because I have my headset plugged in. And I don't really want to get uh, flagged for it, for the music. Which I could just turn down the music, but who cares? Um, so I'm gonna quick save here, just because I haven't lost any extra money yet. Um, th this is also this empire is also a good place to grab troops off of because of. Um, because it will, oh yeah, if they all get changed into really good infantry and really good cavalry, um, unlike the rooks or the green, I can't remember what they're called, um, they do not give you very good troops at all. Um, actually I kind of hate the troops they give you. Because they upgrade into a lot of really useless units. Well, not useless, just uncommon, and they don't really give you good infantry. Like, the infantry ends up being, like, the worst infantry. But, uh, Nords give you the best infantry, and the purple, I can't remember what they're called, they give you the best cavalry. Well, they don't give you the best cavalry, they just give you cavalry first. And the Empire Men was just a mix of really good units, really good infantry and archers they give you. So we'll probably grab a couple of troops from here too, so I have a little more money. Yeah, but this is how trading works, guys. Isn't that awesome? Yay. I lost pay for accommodation. Mm. Every time I do this, I lose two. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to buy green. Super cheap, thank God. Be able to buy a lot of it and sell a lot of it and make fifteen dollars in profit off of each one. But every time you buy one, the price does go up. Which I want all of the grain I can get, and I do not want any of this being eaten. Because your people will eat grain. I say ale should go, should make your morale go up, because, like, ugh, I don't have that much. Okay. Back, leave. Alright. Mmm. Where is it? I don't even... Oh god, I don't remember the name. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. 
Okay, let's see if I can get the same thing. Because it will change the majority of the time. Okay, buy green here and sell it. Okay. Alright. Phew. Different kingdom. Not as much money, but I'm still making money. So I gotta go here. This is already my. This is usually my favorite kingdom to go to war with, because um, um, my favorite kingdom to go to war with, because it is. Uh, oh, because writing villages is so easy. Uh because there's very there's lots of kingdoms but they're all so spread out from the villages that they don't even have enough time to get to the village b before I'm done the raid. Unless they hate you enough, they'll put you on top priority. Mm -mm -mm. I'm being followed. So let's go to the there. Sell all this beautiful, beautiful grain. Price goes down when I sell a lot of it. Wow. Yeah, this is more money than I had when I bought it. Definitely made a profit off of it. Once I have enough money, I might actually by a company and just make a lot of money off that. Okay, I'm making very little money now. Okay. Buy all of here until the sun Is that going to be worth it? Is four dollars or eight dollars gonna be worth it? Not really. Why don't we just go to a castle and get a quest from the Lord? Maybe I can join up with the military and make a bit of money off that. Oh! And I've been ambushed. Can't pull out my weapons. Why can't I freaking pull out my weapons? I have them. I can't pull out my freaking weapons. What the heck? So unfair, I could have won that! Super weak bandits. Ugh, a lot of money. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching guys! Please, if you like this, like and subscribe. Um... Um, but thanks for watching, guys, and see you guys later.